Hey guys, new issue High Snob, out now on Stan. Danny Brown on one cover, Lucy and Clark on the other, James Lavelle on one more. Option. Get that. Get that now. Get that. If you're a real fan, you're gonna get all three. Capitalism. I got all <laughs> three. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Pam said I got all three. We work here, boy. They were free. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Really no, no, no. No, but yeah. Welcome to Itemize. I'm Corey Stokes. What's up? I am Noah Thomas. And today we are talking about track pants. Everyone knows about athleisure. That term is kind of disgusting. You think of the guy that is either just lazy and is wearing slides, going to, I don't know, his bodega. Maybe he bald, probably didn't. You know about the girl, she's got the sports bra on and the leggings, no sweat. She's going to Sweet Green. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the E, the evolution of that. Yes, the growth. Yes, the growth. All brands are doing it. You see Dunhill taking little, you know, references from track pants. Like Balenciaga did the breakaways this season. Yeah. Flame. Mm -hmm. Valentino does it well. Valentino did it well this season. But then you also, you know, needles. Obviously, you have Rude. Right. You know. But you got the staples, right? Yeah. Like the Adidas. Right. Track pants. Kappa. Kappa. We did a collab with them. Plug. You know yeah. I'm coming. Okay. You know I'm coming. You. Wait, you're rocking the Kiko. Oh, I'm A6, rocking Kikos right, right now. Yeah. Flame. So this is one of the reasons that track pants are also in style because tech wear is really in. Yeah. Right? Okay. Everyone loves this whole kind of very techy, you know, ASICs, Samuel Ross with a cold wall. You can't go on Instagram without going past a mood board of Lindsay Lohan, Spice Girls, NSYNC, things of that nature. Yeah. And then they're just, yeah, they're just comfortable. They're super comfortable. You know what I That's mean? That's one of the things I look at when like looking for a track yeah, pants, but like comfort. I think the other thing is like, I like the idea that now we have these like colors coming into the track band, right? right? I think for a minute it was just like Adidas track band, right? And now you see these brands kind of taking it and playing with the color, like you have your orange ASICs Kiko. Right. I have these from the new AUG Needles collab. Flex. It's casual. Another thing I think to pay attention to is like the cut of a pant, the right. cut of the track pant. I think that's what people love about it. It's because you kind of dress it up because it's so slim, you know, mm -hmm. it's not as relaxed until so you can put a nice blazer with it if you want to, right? Depending on, you can put a nice hard bottom shoe. That's the next level. That's the next level dressing. You know, right there. The that's track, next the level track styling. Pant with the loafer and a blazer. And I'll show you guys how to do that later. So before the style out, I'm going to go shopping. First, we're going to go to Champion because if we're going to talk about casual wear, we have to you go to the by. Yeah, yeah. Come on. And then we're gonna go to Ten Corso Como, one of the newest concept shops in New York. Very exciting to have Ten Corso From Como Milan, in New, New York. York. Big deal. Very sick store. We're gonna go there. Stay tuned. We're in Soho, right behind us is the Champion Store, and if we're gonna look for track pants, if we're gonna do anything athleisure, we have to go to Champion, or at least give them a nod, because Champion is one of the brands that grandfathered this entire trend, so we have to check it out. All right, so my first pair that I've chosen are these windbreaker type track pants because I really like this kind of, uh, this nylon, this sheen. It almost has a crinkly effect. I like that. And it has a good slit that goes all the way to out and it doesn't have that web. I really don't like the web. This is an acceptable hem. This is acceptable. Not that weird jogger thing, just a nice, and it doesn't clinch either. It's, it's nice and flat. So I really like these. They are $65, which is, Pretty unbeatable, you can't really beat that. These are solid, they're understated, there's not a lot going on. Champion right there, if you have the, a nice a nice tee, and then you just have it kind of right there. It's just like a clean little detail, so I'm into these. All right, so my main track pant that I've chosen at the Champion store are these white ones. What I really like about these is the piping and the tape on the side. This extra added piece on the waistband. I do like the added detail. The gold accents are really nice as well. Right here and on the zipper, it makes them a little bit more luxurious, I think. So I'm gonna try these on. I'll be back. So this is what they look like on. I'm super into white clothing, especially for the summertime. It's gonna be really nice. One thing though that you do need to know when wearing white is that obviously it gets dirty very fast and you need to really make sure you are paying attention to what kind of top you wear because it could bleed. Those are very important things when wearing white, but wearing white's great. I love it. All 
All right, so this is stop number one. Champion's been good. I'm now gonna go to 10 Corso Como to see what's up there. We are outside of the New York 10 Corso Como. This is the sixth location, and this is one of the most eclectic concept stores in the world. This is from Carlo Sozani, who is one half of the Sozani sisters. And what makes this store so special is that the designer comes into their world because every single garment, every single piece of furniture is a collaboration with 10 Corso Como. Even if it's not necessarily designed for the store, it has the tag in it. So it's a very, very special place. Please come inside with me. Okay, so after walking around the store, I'm a man of habit, and so I had to pick up the Acne Studios track pants. And the reason that I picked these is because one, it's a true hybrid. As you can see, it has actual belt loops. It has real pockets, and that I really like. Also love nylon so much, it's my favorite fabric. It's so breathable and it's just, it's just the best. I don't know if you can see, but look at this hem. It's just so delicate with that surge. Fire. Acne, this is why I picked these. So good. So this is my top pick. These are Palm Angels track pants. And the reason that this is my top pick, for one, Palm Angels is really known for doing a lot of loud colors and a lot of loud prints. And so I love when brands like that dumb it down and do something kind of subtle. That's really what I'm into. I love a good slit. As you can see, I have slits right here. It's just what I'm into. And it's on the back. It's kind of on the side, but it's more like behind the calf, which is a cool placement. And I really like when people switch the placement of the slit. I'm into that. And the style lines, very subtle, very calm. You almost miss them, but when you look closely, you can see them and I love a subtle detail. I'm gonna try these on, because these are sick. So I have also decided to put on this Margiela shirt, because why not? And just to let you guys know that you can also get this here. I mean, but come on, it's 10 Corsa Como, you can get pretty much anything, but I just wanted to put it on because it looked good with the Palm Angels pants, and why not play dress up in 10 Corsa Como, you know what I mean? All right, 10 Corsa Como has been good. I am now going to head back to the studio and see what's up with Corey. What's up? So we are back in the studio now with Corey and our model, Matthew. What's going on? What's up, brother? Doing all right? So, Corey, please walk us through this first look. Yeah, of course. So this first look is still for that guy that wants to participate in the trend but doesn't really know how to. So I want to make this as easy as possible, pairing it with things that you probably already have in your wardrobe. So we um, took the OG Adidas track pants, definitely the pant that I think um, broke the trend. Still pairing it with this Perks and Mini um, racer tee. It's really cool. It's been around for me, so you can see like logos are a big trend right now. So I think this is the perfect way keeping yourself trend focused, but not doing too much. Pairing it with these um, silver accents and the jewelry with the Martin Ali. Matthew has his own um, accessories with the ring and the earring, um, and then keeping it classic with the Vans. Again, I think this is something that most guys should have in their wardrobe. Um, if you don't have any wardrobe, you don't have to spend a lot of money to put it into your wardrobe. Um, I think another great option is adding a pop of color maybe in the top as well with like a hoodie. I love this hoodie from Human Made. I think it's a great little accent piece that, you know, keeps it still casual. And I really like that you can get this look anywhere. You don't have to be in a major city and be where all the boutiques are. Yeah. You can literally just go to like Dick's or something. Yeah, you make it super easy. We, we like this guy, right? Yeah, I mean, like, we, are this, we are this guy. We are this guy. You know what I mean? Okay. Dope. Here we are with look two. Corey, please walk us through this. All right, so again, look two is for that guy that knows brands, he's interested in fashion, but he invests in his pieces, you know? He spends money on it, but he's spending money on A, something of quality, something that he knows he's gonna wear a few times, you know, he's gonna get his money's worth. Right, that's um, me, that's me. Yeah, so we took these white needles track pants with the nice red and purple detail on the side. We're coming at an easy 450. So again, it's a bit up there, but he's gonna wear these pants probably three times a week. Every, every You day. know? Pairing it with this oversized white button down from Jill Sander that has this really cool detail on the back. I really so enjoy good. that. Paired it with this like weird preppy vibe with the Jacquemus sweater from the designer's first menswear collection. 
and then this undercover satchel. Love that. With this really nice detail. Just finding really cool ways. Speaking to menswear, especially on the like fashion side, mm -hmm. without being too loud, right? Like nothing has a huge logo on it. Everything's very subtle, very easy. Pairing with the white Veja sneakers. Um, that are also easy price point. So this guy is definitely willing to spend money on clothes, but knows that they're gonna last. Like knows that they're gonna last for a while. Exactly. And where do you think this guy is going? He's definitely going to have a picture of Picante that's so house, right? Mm. Like definitely going to shop with his homies on Sunday right. just to get a fit off real quick. Real quick. Let me, you know, take my photo against this brick wall. Yeah, you might have a function or two. Yeah. Right. Or two. A chic one though, clearly because you're wearing all white. You don't want to get. Yeah. Right like a show. like a boat party sponsored by Grail. Right? Damn. That. Well done. Like, I'm into perfect. This fit. That's perfect. We're back in the studio. This is look three. Please walk us through this. All right. Look three is for the baller. It's the guy who doesn't mind dropping a stack or two Thanks. on an item of clothing. He's obsessed with fashion, obsessed with designer labels, and you know knows how to dress well. And so we took these Balenciaga track pants, which to the normal eye, they look like a regular track pant, right? Right. But they're Balenciaga, so the fabric is like top notch. I love it has the breakaway detail on the side, so you can yeah. actually snap away. I love just maybe one or two. Um, so it gives you that little slit as you're walking. I think it's a beautiful detail. So good. And I also want to dress this look up a bit to show you guys that you don't necessarily have to always look super casual when wearing the track pant. It lends itself to being a bit more dressier. So I paired it with these GH Bass loafers, a very classic staple brand. And then up top, we have this Comme des Garcons sweater with a few pieces of fabric missing, but that's the detail. And I think this guy <laughs> loves that detail. I do. And then putting our legacy bowling shirt on top of it just to give it some color, add a bit more texture to it. And just layer, you know, this guy loves fashion and is gonna find all kind of ways to like add another label onto it, right? Yeah. I really um, like the, the Our Legacy shirt because I like that. It, it brings it pop. together, right? Because I think without it, it just, looks a bit flat. Yeah. Um, just adds a bit more texture to it. And this is a perfect date night outfit, I oh, think. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, you're a bit worried. You probably, like, matched with a PR girl, you know, on <laughs> Tinder. And so you're a bit nervous on what to wear. Yeah. This, you know. Bam! Uh, this Literally. Right I will say that you may need to um, talk to your landlord about rent because these pants are $2,000. Yeah. But this person isn't worried about that. He's not that. worried about that. This person is not worried about that. He's gonna that. eat like ramen noodles for a week and be fine. But I really like that you, you know, to go back kind of contrast, the track pan with the loafer, that's my favorite. It's nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just it's so ironic. It's like, you're not expecting that, you know what I mean? Just find ways to like, literally like dress this look up, you know? Dress this guy up, dress this style up, dress this pant. Yeah. So of all the looks, I think my favorite one was definitely the Adidas look. The first look? Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Because everyone can get it. Yeah. It's so accessible and easy, and yeah. you can really get a fit off. I That's what I like the most. Definitely wanted that look to be something that guys felt like they can have either that exact look mm -hmm. or like versions of that in their wardrobe already. Because exactly. it's less about like bringing something new, it's about showing them that like if you have these pieces in your wardrobe, you can just put some things up. Exactly. And now you have an outfit that's more, that's less about running to the bodega and more about like possibly going to meet your friends or a lovely lady. Depending on where you work, you can go to work like in that fit, you yeah. know? I think my favorite fit was the the all white. The yeah. All white looking like milk. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so seriously. Looking like milk. Wait, is that, you want to look like milk? A glass of milk. You must be lactose intolerant. Uh, oat milk? Oat milk. I like oat milk. A glass of oat milk. Okay. But that's your favorite look, I get it. That's my favorite look. More so because I think like pulling off all white can be a challenge. Scary. You know, but I think in that context of like making it super casual, very, felt like it's a nice little Easter fit, a nice yeah. little Sunday moment. You you know, the Just holy vibes. Yeah, holy vibes. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, thank you to Champion for showing love. Many thanks to Ten Corsa Como for showing love as well. Please let us know what you want us to do next. Let us know what you thought about this episode. Are you gonna now try track pants? Are they already part of your wardrobe? Do you have new ideas? These let us things. know. Yeah, let us know, know in the comments. We wanna know. Much love. Thanks, guys. Peace. <laughs>